Hi dear parents, welcome back to another math hour. Today I'm going to show you basically how to do function mapping. The kids have learned that a function is like a machine. A machine that looks like this. And inside this machine you have something called an input. Okay, let me use a different color here. An input. In other words, I'm going to put something inside of this machine. And when I put an input inside this machine, and this machine, by the way, is the function, and I'll write it over here for you. When I put an input inside this function, I'm going to receive, or I'm going to get out of it, an output. And that is essentially what a function is. I put something inside of this function machine, and I get something out of it as well. So using that concept, I'm going to show you how to do function mapping. Take a look at this drawing here I made for you. Um, on the left side over here is the domain. The domain is the x value. And you can think of a domain as a home, a house, a property. And on the right side over here, you have something called the range. The range is the y value. And ranges can be thought of as the property owners or the families who live in the home. And I'm going to show you right now how this, these values here, the houses in this box and the families in this box connected to each other, a function. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Um, house A belongs to family number one. Okay, one input and out comes out an output. House B belongs to family number two. You see that? One input, one output. House C also belongs to family number two. And guess what? This is also one input and one output. Why? Because house C is unique. It's independent. It's a separate category of its own, a separate entity. And family number two, maybe they're wealthy. Maybe they're very rich. They can afford to have two houses. It's not unusual. And finally, house D is owned by family number three. As you can see between these relationships, these this is a function. Okay? Each domain, each x value, each home has a home owner. And that's why this is considered a function. Now let me show you a situation where you are not going to get a function. Okay? So again, let's take a look at this. House A belongs to family number one. Good. House C belongs to family number two. Okay. And house D belongs to family number three. Well, guess what? This is not a function. Okay? This is not a function. Because if you noticed over here, house B has no owner. And guess what? You cannot have a situation like this. All domains, all inputs, when you put it inside the function machine, has got to have an output. You cannot have an X value or a domain empty or unconnected. You can't have an empty home. All homes should be filled with a family. So this is an example of not a function. And let me show you another example of not a function. And again, let us connect House A to family number one, which is good. House B to family two, good. And now look at this. House B can connect to family number three. Now you're probably wondering, uh, oh, let me continue on with this. House C is connected to family number one, and house D belongs to family number two. Looks confusing, right? Well, let's check. Let me check if each of these houses has a family in it. Number one looks good. Number one, house A belongs to family number one. Fine, good, no problems there. House C, which is a separate house, also belongs to family number one. That's fine also. No problems there. A family can have two houses. House D belongs to family number two. Okay, that's not a problem too. House D can belong to family number two. House B also belongs to family number two. Looks good. But there is one problem. Look at this arrow over here between house B and family three. That 
is a problem. How can two different families own the same house? It's not possible. In real life, you can't have two completely separate families owning an exactly same house. Okay? So that means this is not a function. This is not a function. Because, again, you cannot have two families owning the same house. And no, these two families are not related at all. They're completely strangers. They're complete strangers. They have no connection, no relationship whatsoever. You can't have two strange families living in the same house. It's impossible. And that's why this is not a function. Now, let me show you examples with some real numbers now, okay? So I'm going to remove all the families in the houses and all these arrows, and I'll replace them with numbers now. Okay? So let me give you some numbers here. Let's say, I'm going to just write it down for you. Let's say we have minus 1, 0, 5, and uh, minus 7, for example, okay? And on this side, I'm going to do 3, uh, minus 2, um, minus 2, and 9. And let's see, there's a connection. Minus 1, 3. That's a connection. 0, minus 2. That's a connection. 5, minus 2. That's a good connection. And minus 7, 9. That's a connection. Every single x value has its own y value. This is a function. You see that? All right, now let me show you an example where there is no function. I'm going to use these same numbers over here. Actually, no, I'll replace these numbers. Let me give you some other numbers. Let's do minus 1, 0, 3, and 3. Okay, and I've got over here 5, 2, minus 4, minus 3. Uh, let's connect them. Let's see. Minus 1 to 5, good. 0 minus zero to 2, good. Mm, 3 connecting to 5, and 3 connecting to minus 3. Now you got to ask yourself this question. Is this a function? Well, let's see. This x value has its own y value. Looks good. This 0 has its own y value. Looks good. This 3 has its own value, but this identical 3 has a different value? How is that possible? These three numbers are identical. How can I have two different y values for the same number? That means this is not a function. Every single value in the x value box has to be different if you want a function. If even one of these numbers are identical or same, you cannot have a function. You see that? Just like I said about those two fa families owning the same home, you can't have that. It just doesn't work that way. So same situation over here as well. Um, let's see, any other example? Uh, one more example. Let's try one more real fast over here. What happens if you have a situation like this? Let's say you have minus 1, 3, and 7, and you have 5, minus 2, 9, and 8. Okay? Minus 1 is connected to 5, minus 1 connected to 2, 3 is connected to 9, and 7 is connected to uh, 9. Take a look. Let's see, is this a function? Well, let's see. 7 is connected to 9, and 7 and 9 are separate. Good. 3 is connected to 9, and 3 and 9 are separate, and 3 and 7 are two different numbers, so that's good. But minus 1 is connected to both 5 and minus 2? How can that be? There's no possible way that can happen. You can't have two different families living in one house. So this is not a function. Okay, kids.